Hi, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. After the introduction, I'm going to show you the brand new resource of the week, which you can download and use in your classroom. The resource of the week is how many cubes are in step five. This is a pattern resource, but with a twist. Like many other pattern resources, it allows students to visualize, predict, and have rich conversations. But what sets this resource apart is the way the patterns appear one step at a time, allowing students to predict what the next step will look like. Not only can students visualize, predict, and have rich math talk, but the way the steps appear one at a time instead of all at once like you normally see them gives more space for discussion. I think you'll find that students make much richer comparisons because of the timing, because of the slower reveal of each step. Now the ending of the resource is also unique. There is a reveal at the end, but what the reveal shows is the number of cubes in step five. What it does not show is the structure itself. After the students see the number of cubes, but before they see the structure, they have one final chance to visualize the structure and share with others what they think the structure will look like. And then, in the end, the structure itself is revealed. You may also have noticed that there are five different levels included with the file, so you can choose the level or levels that best suit your class. And on slide number two, there are further directions explaining how to do that. And there's also a section explaining what to do if you're using Google Slides instead of PowerPoint. Another really helpful resource is the set of suggested questions at the top of each slide. And to get a closer look at that, let's go to level five. And as you notice, when I click, the first structure will appear. But at the top, you can see some suggested questions. How do you see this structure? How else can you see it? And finally, how many cubes are there? The first one is, how do you see this structure? That all by itself can be a very interesting question because some students might see five cubes in the front and five cubes in the back with one more on the top. But other students might see something completely different like four cubes on the right side, four cubes on the left side, and three cubes in the middle, which is why the second question, how else can you see it, is so important. And finally, there is the question, how many cubes are there? On the next click, a new structure will appear. And you may have noticed that the questions on the top also changed. How do you see this structure? And then two really important questions that wouldn't have been possible with just one structure. How are the structures the same and how are they different? Also, you can see the question, how many cubes are there? And can you see it another way? You can choose to use the questions in that order or you can change the order of the questions or you can think of different questions to ask. When you click again, the third structure will appear like this. And again, the questions on the top changed. These questions are, how are the structures the same? How are they different? And then how many cubes are there? Now there are three structures to look at here, so the conversation will be even different. But notice that the last question, what do you think the next structure might look like, is now encouraging students to predict what the next structure will be. So students are looking forward based on the comparisons that they've made, based on their observations. When you click again, the next structure will appear and remember that each one of these appearing structures will feel like a reveal for the students. So when you click again, the next structure will appear. And again, the questions on the top have changed. What do you notice? What else do you notice? And that's a very important question. Also, how many cubes will be in step five? So again, the students are predicting the number of cubes. How do you know? And how else could you know? When you click again, you'll see that the red reveal box appears and on the top, the text changed again. It's time for the reveal. The number of cubes in step five is, so you know that on the next click, that number is going to be revealed. So when you click, the number is revealed and now we know that the number of cubes in step five is 23. However, what we don't know is what that structure will look like. So there's another really good opportunity for students to have conversation here. On the top, you may have noticed that the text changed again because it does change with every click. And now it says, what will the structure in step five look like? Why do you think so? It's time to reveal the structure. Here it is. And when you click again, the structure in step five will appear. So here's the click. And now students can see that. So even though there's the red reveal that shows the number of cubes, 
Really, the structure at the end serves as a final reveal, but so does the appearance of each structure along the way. To get your copy of the file, read the description below and you'll find directions and dates and most importantly, the link to the web page where you can download this and use it in your classroom. This particular file is found on my blog in part two, New Estimate Mysteries and Number Sense Resources every day for the rest of the school year, where I'm giving away a brand new resource each and every day for the rest of the school year. When you scroll down, you'll simply find the blue link. When you click on the link, then that will begin to download. And in just a moment, you'll see that you have the file. In fact, I'll go ahead and click on this to open it. And it's ready to use now on my computer. Again, thanks so much for watching. I have many, many, many more resources to share with you. So if you take a moment to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And then you'll find out when the new resources come out. Thanks again for watching.